I did resign because the term of my contract is for two more years, so I resigned. I think that certainly uh, Richard and I had discussions about his desire for the job, um, my opportunity at ESPN, and in the perfect world, I would have done both next year. That, that is impossible. Uh, neither side would have agreed to that. Uh, I also recognized uh, Richard's desire. If I were the head coach of the university and I had a coordinator who was talking to other people or talking about the idea of maybe transitioning to another job, I would probably want to hasten that same situation. Did it seem unusual to you that there was no written agreement and did you raise this issue to the university? Uh, yes, it is unusual, uh, although typically uh, contracts, as we all know, sit, uh, you know, they're complicated documents that take a long time, and there are many of them that occur at the same time. I did not feel that it was anything unusual at that point not to have a contract. Um, and the length of contract I had discussed with uh, the previous athletic director and president, and both of them said the maximum was three years, but I was asking for five years. Well, you have to do certain things with the state system to get that done. We did not do that. Uh, how that fell down and fell through the cracks, I do not know. I don't. I know I can't write my own contract. So um, the reality is that we just found ourselves without a contract. Well, I'm, I'm not sure how forthcoming they were. I wasn't here, so I, I, I don't know whether they were forthcoming or not. Would you, on principle, say that should have been the case? Well, as a, as a matter of, of practice in my administration, that will be the case. Richard, when did you first become aware that there was no formal contract or term, even a term sheet for, for Mike? Are you asking for the specific date? Uh, a, a, a good ballpark yes. Mike and I talked this over on a number of occasions. Um, Mike and I have always been very, uh, I think it's fair to say, candid and, and forthcoming with one another. Um, I was. I was uh, first made aware of this when, when, it, when I made clear to Mike that the ESPN option was, was a very desirable one for him, that we would probably have to make a change in the AD sooner or later and that this was a great time to do it. Then it became time to negotiate the buyout and that's when I looked into the contractual obligations and discovered that there was no contract. Is, is, has Phil Knight offered to pay any portion of this $2.3 hasn't offered that to me. Do you, do you, do you know would he be interested? I <laughs> know. Uh, I have I have had no conversations other than to inform Mr. Knight about the fact that I was going to make this change. I have had no conversations with him. Mike, it's unusual to see you like this. Why? Is there some any ill feelings toward the university? Is this how you envision going out, I guess? Uh, I don't have any ill feelings. I, I don't have much of a statement. I, the situation is such, I'm trying to answer the questions. I think that my relationship with the university is solid and intact. And I will continue to be uh, a proponent of the university. I'll be involved in fundraising in the future. I'll be involved in events within the athletic department and probably even the university itself. Um, and, you know, in whatever capacity I can, I have considered this move from the time I left football. Um, obviously, it's one of those things that I'm not sure in my mind what I would have done. But uh, I do think it is something, as I said before, that I'm not running from anything at all. I am running to something that I'm tremendously excited about. And I, I think, um, you know, having said that, uh, it's just, um, you know, the separation part is always going to be tough, no matter when you leave. Uh, yeah, to a degree. But again, um, the, the, the decision to leave football was mine and mine alone. And I say that, I'll repeat that. Uh, I had the great support of the president, AD, and my successor, Chip Kelly, at that time to take as long as I wanted. Um, I did feel it was time. And uh, whether or not the athletic director job was, uh, you know, suggested to me or I was uh, asked to serve in some capacity in that regard, I did feel that 
uh, I could service this university in, in a transitional period with a new conference commissioner, new president, potentially new athletic director, and new football coach. And uh, it wasn't my end all job. It wasn't something I aspired to. Uh, and I think having, and I'm very honest about that, I have been. And Richard's comment about my dissatisfaction, it, it wasn't probably as much dissatisfaction as a lack of true satisfaction. I think. As a football coach, I've said this many times, you get a report card every week, and you know exactly where you stand, and you get feedback. As an AD, a lot of what you do either goes unnoticed or is publicly criticized. And it's 10, 20, 30 years down the road before you really know. Uh, I'm a more results-oriented person, and I'm driven in that regard. And some of that was frustrating to me. Mike, do you feel comfortable accepting $2.3 million for a job um, and an obligation that you failed to fulfill? Uh, I do, based on the terms of my contract, the, the amount of money I'm being paid now, and the fact that uh, this was uh, a decision that we mutually agreed upon, but I, I didn't have as much choice in that situation. Secondly, a great portion of that $2.3 million was an agreed upon differential between a one-year payment for the difference in my coaching salary versus my AD salary. And that was part of the agreement you made when you step down to from football coach to become that is correct I had I had a five-year guaranteed contract at approximately two million dollars a year ten million dollars I had a five-year contract rollover contract that had I been fired would have paid me six hundred thousand dollars per year for those term of remaining contracts so ten million three million and the the one million was a transitional retention leadership I don't know what you what you ever you want to call it Mike how does it make you feel that some people don't think your exit is worth 2.3 million I, there's a lot of people that think a lot of things about me every day and I can't change that um, I, I do know what we have accomplished here at this university in my 21 years uh, I do know what we have built and what we are continuing to build and I'm very proud of that and I I don't know if you put a numeric value on it, and certainly in these times it's very difficult, and $2.3 million is a lot, but given uh, the negotiated buyout of the last two years of my contract, given the amount of money promised to me, regardless of the time I spent as athletic director, um, I, I am not taking anything that wasn't owed me.